a look at Jeff Heath's uh, play today, and yeah. EA, I want you to take a look at, and, and kind of dissect yeah. what you saw from him. First of all, low-key, Jeff was a signee that many people thought would maybe be a good backup, but again, he's just played so crafty. Look at that. Tips and overthrows, that's what we talk Gotta about get as a safety, oh. coming down and anticipating the route combinations. Here, we think we're in a cover two man here, so the cornerback's gonna be underneath forcing the quarterback to throw the ball on top. So now as a safety, you're thinking, man, if this ball is going to be high, it's going to be tipped, I got to be in the right spot at yeah. the right time. And again, he plays it right. Just great job there, jumping the route, anticipating, expecting those plays. And that's when you come down and get him. Everyone's excited because it's a crafty veteran. One time again, you see everybody's underneath coverage, forces him to throw the ball on top. You got to have good hands with your safety, you right? Have you got to have some good hands. So again, <laughs> another big time play. Three weeks ago or two weeks ago, same thing happened yeah. against Kansas City. So we know he can catch the ball. We know he can play that middle field safety. Here, this is a veteran move wow. because a younger safety would have probably made the tackle and the guy would have got up and celebrated. Here we see great job again by understanding route combinations. You're going to have the first inside guy up top. Bam, that's gonna be your first guy up top. When he sticks that outside foot in the ground, you gotta break downhill yeah. and come and get the ball or knock him out. You can tell right there on that replay there, you, Jeff Heath understood we are in the red zone. Where you yes. are on the field is so important. Things happen faster. Quarterbacks have to anticipate where their receiver is going to be. So he beat him to the spot oh. and not only broke up the ball, but saved yes. the team and took away three points at a minimum for the Denver right. Broncos. For sure. It got yeah. us into the half with yeah. the lead. Going into time, that was amazing. And again, you could play all kind of different coverages. You can play cover four, cover one. Yeah. But when you tag it with red, that means that the safeties and DBs know that we're working with that red area, so everything has to be compact, everything, and everything has to be explosive right. coming down the football. In the red zone, offensively and defensively, everything gets condensed, and everything happens much, much faster. Yes, it does.